Hello guys, today we have prepared a very cool experiment for you. The thing is that we came across a very interesting spray can. A can of freezer, that is, it's frozen. The interesting feature of this thing is that it instantly cools the furnaces to minus 45 degrees. Honestly, I thought that apart from nitrogen, nothing is capable of this like to instantly freeze. Therefore, today we prepared a number of experiments with this spray. And the first thing we'll try to do is freeze a grape. But why a grape? Well, because, well, it has a very thin layer and because it's very juicy. And in general, if this thing can't freeze grapes now, then what can we talk about next? Let's check it out. What? It was instantly covered with a crust. Look, even the frost remained on the tooth. Somehow, I honestly did not expect this. Awesome. Just look at this. Look, it's become really hard. Guys, let's not use this thermometer to measure the temperature of our grapes. The temperature of the grapes is minus 12.3 degrees. Guys, I think you realize that it's not some kind of mosquito spray that just makes some kind of weird stuff. This is a real deal that frizzes items. Now, let's take the grape, freeze it, and compare the sound of falling before and after. A grape that we haven't frozen. Well, now let's look at the frozen grapes. In my opinion, the difference is super obvious. Did you hear what sound from that fall with this grape? I suggest we cut it up and see what's inside. On the right, guys, you see the ordinary grapes, and on the left, the frozen ones. I think no one has any doubts left. So, guys, well, we've sorted out the grapes. Let's take something a little bit bigger. A watermelon. Listen guys, well, the surface of the watermelon is really freezing. It's really very cold. Let's get the watermelon out and see what's inside. Oh, oh shoot. Ah, uh, it smells delicious. Guys, the watermelon has a very thick and very hard crust and such a tank is not enough to freeze it though. Guys, in order for the watermelon to freeze through, you probably need 15 cylinders to work at the same time and only this case probably will be able to get onto the middle, but even that's not a fact. Now, let's take this freezer can and put it on the inside of the watermelon and see what happens. Guys, it's frozen. It's actually frozen. We didn't do this part at all. Oh. <laughs> and now again, the part that froze. Guys, this spray was able to freeze the inside of a watermelon. As for me, it looks like some kind of magic. You spray it and it freezes instantly. Guys, let's imagine this type of situation. You're in the forest and you're very thirsty. And remember that you have a can of Coca-Cola, but the cola is very warm. And drinking cola warm, well, it's just not so good. But at some point, you remember that you have a spray that freezes everything. So why not try to cool our Coca-Cola with this spray, huh? We've used a whole spray for one can of Coke. It, it has cooled down a lot and it's like icy. I'm telling you myself, let's open it and try it out. <sighs> well, that's better. Due to the fact that our can is metal, we transferred the cold to the can and the can transferred the cold to our drink. For those who are particularly doubtful, the temperature of the drink is 16.4 degrees. Let's move on to the next experiment. The next experiment we'll conduct is an experiment with a flower. We want to find out we can freeze a flower with this type of spray where we can break it like it's glass. Unfortunately guys, or fortunately, our flower could not stand it. It crumbled like glass, it just squeezed it and my hand and that's it, it was done. Now let's move on to the next experiment. The next thing we'll freeze is a burger. In order for us to have something to compare it with, we'll cut our burger in half. 
And now we'll spray one of the sides with freezing spray. Guys, I don't know if you can see it or not, but this burger has become just a piece of ice. Now I'm gonna do a little test and you'll see for yourself. We're gonna take a bun that's not frozen. Well, not the one that we have like sprayed. Actually guys, as you already got it, our bun froze so much that it did not bend, but just broke. I even dropped it. <laughs> so, well, the same thing, in fact, with the cutlet. Before the final experiment, we decided to find out something. How much and how fast is the temperature going? Yes, we see that object is covered with frost. Yes, we feel the cold. It is actually written on a can that the temperature drops to minus 45. But does it really go down to minus 45? Well, let's go and find out. We will check the temperature using this thermometer. What does that mean? This means the temperature is more than minus 50. Yes, guys, it seems to me that the manufacturer clearly under messed their toy. Our thermometer stopped at minus 50. It does not show below this mark. That is, the temperature there was minus 55, minus 60. If you spray this type of stuff on your hand, you can definitely get a thermal burn. Well, now let's move on to our main experiment. These are two tubes in front of you. Ordinary water is poured here, and here's a non-freezing liquid. We have found out that the temperature of this spray is below minus 50 degrees, and uh, so we thought, why not freeze the water? And so that the water is not just ordinary, in parallel, we'll try to freeze the non-freezing liquid. <sighs> It'll be very interesting. Let's start perhaps with water. Guys, less than 15 seconds have passed and our water has frozen. Actually, this is not surprising. Get it out now. If you're thinking how to make ice quickly for your party, you can use this spray. Well, now let's try to freeze the non-freezing liquid. Guys, we did like everything, but it doesn't freeze. Apparently, this is a very high quality non-freezing liquid and it does not respond to our provocation. But anyways, guys, this spray turned out to be very cool. We do not know why it should be used for its intended purposes. We also always did everything we could just like, like this, and we made an interesting experiment. Well, that's it, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for your attention, guys. Bye, everyone. Bye.